Finally, it's happened. Cataphracts, Monaspa, Gendarme, Armoured Horsemen, all viable. Overpowered Heavy Cav is back in Europe. Now, I love these new roleplay elements coming soon, but I am a min-maxer. And if you are similarly predisposed, then one major change in the upcoming DLC would have caught your eye. This one. Changing buildings and men at arms. And with that, I want to go through the implications this has in Crusader Kings 3 going forwards for us who love crunching the numbers. Gone are the day of buff stacking through buildings, achieved by maximising your domain through homogenous terrain and typically investing in a soul regiment type. Finally, we are uncoupling stewardship from determining the strength of your men at arms, which was always dumb and the AI could never take advantage of anyway. Now your men at arms gain most of their boosts locally so you only need one barony of optimal terrain to get the correct buildings for your regiment. This means beforehand in, say, France, you needed a lot of farmers to get the stacked bonuses, and there were only a few leaving your cavalry soft and squishy, or you heading to Egypt to get enough of the required terrain. Now you are guaranteed at least some regiments of monstrous gendarmes. So, that's point one and two. Stewardship no longer has any bearing on the brilliance of your men at arms and OP troops have been democratised, available to anyone, even the lowliest petty single county count. Now following on from point two, men at arms are more potent than ever. Looking at the barracks at level three in the upcoming DLC, I would need eight barracks at level three previously to match, requiring at least a domain of eight to get all of those buildings. And bear in mind, if I was a single county count, I could get that 60% too, so there's a lot more damage going around than there was ever before. Note. I have a star on this one, as with the new limits on building slots, you may choose to go all in for the money. Omitting men at arm buffs, meaning you're more dependent than ever on your levies and mercenaries. And that brings us to point four. The bigger they are, the greater they fall. Countering and terrain will be more important. Being lured into the wrong place or against the wrong foe will render your now key troops useless. Or conversely, lure them into a bad fight yourself. So more consideration as to who and where you are fighting. Another exciting thought is that mixed compositions are more viable, meaning some of these previously underwhelming traditions become one of the few sources of buffs across all your regiments. Originally, the optimal way to play was a single military building and three economic buildings, so your monotype regiment army is buffed and you have the economy to pay for it all. Swapping out an economy building to say buff your archers, but miss out on coin was madness. And having archers without the buff when you could have another regiment of super soldiers was also insanity. But now, with the local bonuses, you can mix and buff without trashing your income or army. One new fun change I can see is a building that increases army movement. Now, you already could increase army movement with traditions, but this is way more widely available and stackable. So those conny, already extremely powerful, now have the means to truly hunt down enemy armies before they can blot together. So form the mobile cavalry and deploy in the inevitable crisis. A small change, but one that adds way more strategic depth in how to engage your opponents. And finally, with all that has previously been said, some food for thought. With the counts, the little guys, the low domain dwellers having that leg up, ruling just became a little more dangerous. You see this chap on Reddit? He is not having a good time. But consider that every vassal has their own men at arms. And now, because of local bonuses, they have access to the very same bonuses as you. Every single one of them. Previously, a revolt may have been an opportunity to clean up house. But now, you may feel a very cold sweat. A crisis. Similar to the one in the 3rd century, am I right? And that's it. I am keen to hear your thoughts. Am I right? Am I wrong? Will the AI always be helpless or does it level the playing field? Or will these systematic changes be abused even worse than before? Thank you and goodbye.